have you felt like your own biggest critic? Or perhaps that that stress just seems like a constant unwelcome guest in your life? You're definitely not alone. Welcome back. In today's episode, we're tackling something that truly touches each of our lives, our mindset and our stress levels. Today, we're going to explore not just how to manage these, but how to transform them into sources of strength. Let's start by unpacking mindset. What is it really? Mindset refers to the established set of attitudes we hold. It influences how we perceive our lives and react to different situations. But here's the kicker. Our mindset is not fixed. With the right tools and techniques, we can shift from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset, where challenges become opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Let's recall what Psalm 55:22 says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But what if I told you that your mind, much like a muscle, can be trained and transformed? Today, we are exploring the fascinating science of neuroplasticity and how it empowers us to take hold of that growth mindset. Neuroplasticity might sound complex, but it's actually quite simple. And it's a very exciting concept. It refers to our brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. This ability is the cornerstone of why and how we can change our mindset from fixed to grow. Imagine every time that you learn something new or face a new challenge, your brain is creating these new pathways. These aren't just metaphorical paths. They are physical changes in the structure of your brain, rewiring itself. This means when we say you can change your mindset, there's a real, tangible, or a seen process happening in your brain supporting this change. The brain's plasticity its extraordinary ability to modify its own structure and function following changes within the body or in the external environment. This brings us to some inspiring examples. Think of Thomas Edison, whose numerous failures in inventing the light bulb did not deter him but rather it actually strengthened his resolve. So how can we apply this to our lives? Start by embracing these challenges as opportunities for growth. Each time you push out of your comfort zone, you're not just succeeding or failing. You're actually sculpting and chiseling your brain to be more resilient and adaptable. I encourage you to think about something that you've always believed that you couldn't do. Now, consider that it's not that you cannot do it. It's that you have not trained your brain for it yet. Remember the path to a growth mindset always under construction. And every effort that you make is laying down new tracks. Think about this. In a fixed mindset, challenges might seem discouraging to you. You might think that you're not good at something and never will be. However, with a growth mindset, each challenge becomes a step towards mastering a new skill. You start saying, I'm not good at this yet, but that yet makes all the difference in the world. Moving on to accountability. How does it fit into this puzzle? Accountability isn't just keeping promises to others. It's also about making commitments to yourself. It's about setting goals, however big or small, and holding yourself responsible for meeting them. When we pair accountability with a positive mindset, we're setting the stage for a powerful, personal transformation. It's about acknowledging that the responsibility of our happiness and success lies within us. Now, let's tackle stress management. We all face stress, but it's not necessarily the enemy that we think it is. Stress can be a very powerful motivator. If we know how to harness it and channel it, the answer is resilience and Techniques that can turn stress from a foe into a true ally. So, I'll share three quick tips. First, breathe. Deep breathing exercises can help calm your mind and reduce tension. Second, organize. A cluttered space or schedule can amplify stress. And third, reflect. Take time to reflect on what causes your stress and how you respond to it. So, let's put theory into practice. Here is a simple exercise you can do right now. Think about a recent situation that stressed you out. 
Now, reframe it. What did it teach you? What strengths did you discover about yourself? What weaknesses? How can you handle it better for the next time? By actively engaging in such reflections, you begin to build and stack those mental building blocks of resilience, making you better equipped to deal with future challenges. As it says in Psalm 16, 8, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Think on that. So thank you all for joining me today. If you found this video helpful and filled with value, please hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share this video with someone who could use a little boost in transforming their mindset or managing their stress levels. Remember, change starts with a one small step, and you just took it today. Let's continue this journey together. Drop a comment down below sharing one mindset shift that you plan to work on or a stress management tip that worked for you. Stay strong, stay motivated, stay blessed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Have a great day. Like and subscribe.